Good day, viewers. Yeah, welcome back to our mathematics class. This is Latif Ismaila Akombi. Today's topic, we are going to be looking at multiplication of modular arithmetic. Just before we dive into this topic proper, if you have not subscribed to this channel, kindly do so and click the notification bell and also share to other learners for them to benefit endlessly on this channel. Let's move on. Example one, evaluate the following modulo four. That is, we want to evaluate them in modulo four. The first one, we have two multiplied by two. That is two times two. As we know, two multiplied by two gives four. And don't forget, one of the rules is, whenever we have a number that is equal to the modulo or greater than the modulo, it cannot be our answer. We have to find how many modulo can we get in that answer. So here now we have 4 divided by our modulo 4. So 4 goes in 4, we have 1, remainder 0. So which means that 2 multiplied by 2 is equivalent to 0 in modulo 4. Second one, 3 multiplied by 2 can be written as 3 times 2. This gives 6. 6 is more than 4, so we say 6 divided by 4. So 4 goes in 6, we have 1, remainder 2. So this is our answer. So therefore, 3 multiplied by 2 is congruent to this 2 in mode 4. And the third one, we have 33 multiplied by 9. See, this 33 is somewhat a larger number. We can do 33 first by saying 33 divided by your modulo 4. So 4 goes in 33, we have 8. Then 8 times 4 is 32. Remainder 1. So this is our remainder 1. Then let's do, let's do for that 9. 9 divided by 4. So 4 goes in 9, we have 2. So 4 times 2 is 8, remainder 1. So we now have the remainder, we, had them, we multiply them together. 1 multiplied by 1 gives 1. Therefore, 33 multiplied by 9 is congruent to 1 in mode 4. So this is how to work out this. Example 2, evaluate the following in the given moduli. Question A, we have 16 multiplied by 7 in mode 5. So what we have is 16 times 7. 16 times 7 gives us 112. 112 is far, far greater than our module. So we divide by 5. So 5 goes in 112. For our non-science students, when you multiply 16 times 7 in your calculator, we have 112 divided by 5. It's going to give us a value like 22.4. So Meaning that 5 goes in 1 and 12, we have 22. But this 4 is not the remainder. To get the remainder, what we are going to do is use that your calculator again, multiply 22 times 5. When you multiply 22 times 5, this is going to give us on so 22 multiplied by 5 in your calculator will give us 1 and 10. So what it means to get to 1 and 12 is 2, meaning that this is going to remain there 2. So which means 16 multiplied by 7, it is congruent to 2 in mode 5. For the second one, 18 multiplied by 17. So use your calculator again to so say, so this is a circle. A calculator to say 18 multiplied by 17. So what do we have? We have 306. So we now divide it by the modulo, which is 3. So 3 goes in 3, we have 1. 3 goes in 0, we have 0. 
three goes in six, we have two. So no remainder, that is remainder zero. So which means 18 multiplied by 17 is equivalent to zero in mode three. So likewise, if you are not using a calculator, you can do it individually. You do 18 first, that is 18 divided by your modulo three. Eight, three goes in eight, we have six, remainder zero, keep your remainder, then 17 as well, divided by three. So three goes in 17, we have five. So five times three is 15, remainder two. So we now have the remainders together, zero times two gives zero. So therefore, 18 multiplied by 17 is equivalent to zero. Example three, complete the multiplication modulo six in the table below. We want to look at the multiplication table. We've looked at the addition and subtraction. The same way we did that is still the same way we're going to look at this multiplication. Don't forget, any of our multipl multiplication that is above or equal to our modulo, we divide by the modulo. Now let's move on. Two multiplied by two, we have four. 4 is not up to modulo 6, so we are going to have 4. 2 times 3, we have 6, so 6 is up to modulo. So 6 goes in that 6, we are going to have 1 remainder 0, that's why we have remainder 0 here. Now 2 times 4, we have 8, so 2 times 4 is 8, then 8 divided by 6. So 6 goes in 8, we have 1, remainder 2, so we have 2, then 2 times 5, 2 times 5, we have 10. Then 10 divided by your modulo 6. 6 goes in 10. We have 1. Remainder 4. So we have 4 here. 3 times 2, again, we have 6. Then 6, 3 times 2, we have 6. 6 goes in 6, we have 1. Remainder 0. So we have remainder 0. 3 times 3, we have 9. 3 times 3, we have 9. 6 goes in 9, we have 1, remainder 3. We have remainder 3. Then 3 times 4, 3, multiply by 4, we have 12. Then 6 goes in 12, we have 2, remainder 0. So we have remainder 0. 3 times 5, 3, multiply by 5, that is 15. 6 goes in 15, we have 2. So 6 times 2 is 12. Remainder, 3. So we have 3. Then 4 times 2, we have 8, as in this case. 6 goes in 8, we have 1 remainder 2, that is 2 here. 4 times 3, we, three that is, we have 12. 6 goes in 12, we have 2 remainder, 0, 0. 4 times 4, 4 multiplied by 4, that is 16. 6 goes in 16, so we are going to have 6 times 2, that is 2. That is 12. Remainder 4. So we have 4. 4 times 5. 4 multiplied by 5. We are going to have 20. 6 goes in 20. So 6 times 3. That is 3. That is 18. Remainder 2. So we have 2. So 5 times 2. Let's look at this. It's here. 10. 6 goes in 10. We have 1. Remainder 4. 5 times 3. We have it here, yes, we have 15. 6 goes in 15, we have 2 remainder 3. 5 times 4, like this, we have 20. 6 goes in 20, we have 3. Remainder 2. 5 times 5, 5 multiplied by 5, we are going to have 25. So 6 goes in 25, we have 4. And 4 times 6 is 24, remainder 1, so we have 1. So this is how to work out the multiplication of modulo 6. If it's modulo 5, don't just forget that your number will be 1 less than your modulo. All these numbers. 1 less than your modulo. So, this is how to work out the multiplication table in arithmetic, modular arithmetic. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and share to other learners in order to benefit from this channel. Thank you.